What is up guys, HF Masters here, today doing a LEGO Speed Champions review, this time on the Mercedes AMG GG3. This is item number 75877, it has 193 pieces, and on the front of the box you can just see the actual Mercedes AMG GT3. And then on the back of the box you can see the car itself and then all the things that you can do with the actual set. I also want to quickly note that the actual box is made out of a different material from the previous Waves boxes and it's a little bit different compared to that softer uh, cardboard material that they used in the previous ones. Fully complete we can see that the Mercedes AMG GT3 comes with four alternate rims, one minifigure, an alternate front, and then the actual car itself. So taking a look at the actual car itself, the first thing I want to say is that I think they did a magnificent job for the scale that they were working with. For speed champions, they generally keep the cars in a relatively smaller scale, so they aren't able to get all of the details. However, I think they did a pretty good job here. You can see the yellow stripe going pretty much all the way through, although it does break up because of these studs, which is a little bit unfortunate, although that's really just more nitpicky. You can see on the top of that spoiler over there, the AMG logo, which is just a nice little tux, and you can just see overall some very nice continuity. You also see in the hood here how it just dips down, which is a really nice detail that they managed to put in there. And then just the stickers over here, you can see the air vents, and then you can see just a bunch of other detailing. There's just a lot of nice detail in here. However, like most of the Sweet Champions cards, I think the best angle to look at it is level from the ground. So let's go ahead and do that. So taking a look at this level here, you can see the actual just front of the car it just looks really nice here. Now this is something that can change, which I'll show off a little bit later. But taking a look right now, you can see the lights have these pretty nice detailings here, which are done, of course, with a sticker. You can see the grill, which looks pretty nice. And just the entire thing itself just looks good. You can also see this little guard coming off across the front. Now moving it to the side here, you can see the yellow rims with the uh, black spokes which just look pretty nice and it's a little bit of a different contrast which they haven't done with any other Speed Champions cars up until now and it looks actually really nice and it's something I hope they continue to do in the future even if it's not just from the Speed Champions lines, maybe it's just a city car or something because it's really nice and adds a lot of nice just detail and just personality to the car. You can see where the doors would be. You can see the AMG logo along with the number 16. And then you can also see just a nice slope with another air vent there. Now taking a look at the top here, you can see how they tried to keep the actual detail of the uh, the window going there by using that sticker, which was a nice little touch, although it doesn't fully work out. It's just nice to see that the effort was there and that they did do their best to fully be able to get the full just kind of look of the actual car. On the back here, we can see the AMG logo, some nice detailings for the exhaust, and you can just see some nice overall shapings from just a bunch of different slow pieces. And I really like the way they did the lights. A little bit interesting here is that the lights actually aren't connected that way. The way they're done is that, as you can see, they're actually movable. So you just push them inside like this, and then you can also pull them out like that. You can see, so there is actually, you know, just a little bit of uh, posability you could give with that if you wanted to. It's just a little small thing, but it is pretty nice. And then also, you can see with the spoiler, it is connected using these two droid arms. And then of course the spoiler is adjustable, you can move it up, move it all the way down like this. You could, if you really wanted to, you could have it dragging on the ground. And then even if you want to, if you just, you don't like the spoiler, you can take it off like this, just removing everything here. And then if you want to go a step further, what you could even do after that is just take this hook piece off remove the slope piece and then once you remove the slope piece you can attach it over here and then you have an even more smoother look and you just get a different look from the car itself which still looks pretty good and it adds an extra bit of just playability to the set. And then of course on the other side of the car we can see the same detailing from before. Now as I mentioned before, there isn't only one front to this car. The set actually comes with a whole separate build of just a completely different front. And how this works is that this front section is connected by an axle and you can just pull it off like this. And you can see it reveals a black pin in there. And then what you can do is just take the other one and then you can just push it in there. 
and it gives you a whole nother look to the car and you see from the front it looks just as good you still get a lot of the details I actually personally like the overall look better it looks cooler to me although I don't like the grill as much as the other one but the thing with Lego is if you like the other grill better you can just take it off of the other assembly and put it on here and then you can have this same just actual front here but with that same grill from the other um, front build so you can still have that because of the custom ability that just comes with the Lego set itself and this just you know is a really nice thing that I hope that they do with more speed champion sets in the future versus including those little cones because I feel like this it gives more just overall playability and just more personality to the car itself versus the cones although I hope they don't do it with every set because this is it's a good idea but it is something that would get a little bit um, overused if they just did it all the time and then of course just like all the other speed champions cars you can just remove the front like this and inside you can see a steering wheel and just some nice overall detail you can also see on the other side that there is a little bit of a gap here to add a little bit of extra clearance for the minifigure and speaking of the minifigure let's go ahead and take a look at him so you can see that he does come with a wrench which I'll show off fairly shortly what that is used for but the minifigure itself has some pretty nice detailing I like how it's half yellow and half black to sort of represent that yellow stripe going across the front of the car and you can also see the Mercedes logo printed on the side on the back you can see the AMG logo along with the continuation of that yellow stripe and then when you remove the helmet you can see there's no alternate face and then you can just see a better look at the minifigure without the wrench. So the idea of the wrench here is that you can use the wrench and what you can do is that you can connect it through the axle here to push out the um, spoke and then you can use one of the alternate ones and just put it on like that which has a little bit of extra custom ability to the actual set. So overall I think that the Mercedes AMG GT3 is a very good set. This isn't going to be a set for everyone though. The fact is that just the way Speed Champions is, if you're not interested in the car, you just don't like the way the car looks, this isn't going to be a set for you. If you really want play features, this this set isn't really going to give you that. There aren't going to be any flick fire missiles, spring loaded shooters, stud shooters, anything like that. However, I still think you get just a good amount of playability from it as a set alone. You still, you know, get the full car thing. It's really a, just a lot more imaginative. That front bumper, which just gives you the ability to swap it out, giving you another look to the car, in my opinion, adds loads of playability. The ability to change just the rims and have different spoke styles also adds just a lot more playability to the set. You can do things like, you know, with that wrench, you can just kind of repair it. You can, you could take the front, do it for just a different speed. You can remove the spoiler if you want to, if you want it as more as a casual style car, although that's not always going to happen because, you know, the way this car is made, it's meant to have that full race car detailing, especially with all the stickers, especially on the side. However, you still have the ability to try to make it more casual. And I just think this is just a really solid deal. This is just a huge step up from the uh, last wave of Speed Champions, in my opinion. And although I don't have the entire wave of this specific line of Speed Champions, I do think that this wave is definitely feeling like a step up, especially with this set in specific. So that's pretty much it for my review on the Mercedes-AMG GT3. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.